my brave readers, welcome to our reading circle. Today we're going to read an oldie but a goodie, The Ugly Duckling, illustrated by Giuseppe Di Lernia, read and adapted by Miss Coralie. It was summer in the countryside, by a cool pond near a little farm, a mother duck sat on her nest of eggs. Can you name all the animals you see in this picture? Suddenly, the eggs began to hatch. Cute little yellow ducklings hopped out of their eggshells. Cheep, cheep, quack, quack, they went, flapping their tiny wings. Before long, there was just one egg left in the nest. It was much larger than the others. At last, it began to crack. What do you think is going to happen? A big fluffy shape appeared. What an ugly duckling, said one of the little yellow ducklings. went the ugly duckling. It can't quack, laughed another yellow duckling. They laughed even harder when the clumsy duckling tripped and fell over its own feet. One by one, the baby ducks splashed into the water behind their mother. The ugly duckling swam at the back. The mother duck loved each and every one of her ducklings, including the big fluffy one. The mother duck took her brood up to the farmyard. The animals adored the cute little ducklings, but they didn't like the big fluffy one. They pecked and nipped him. You're ugly. They cried. The duckling was so upset, he ran away as fast as he could. What happened here? How do you think is the ugly duckling feeling? And how do you know? He came to a cottage where a cat and a hen lived with an old woman. Purr like me, and you can stay, said the cat. You can stay if you lay eggs, said the hen. The duckling couldn't purr or lay eggs, so he left the cottage. The duckling felt very lonely. Fall arrived, and one evening, he saw graceful white birds flying high above. He longed to be like them. The author did a little foreshadowing here. Can you tell what it is? But as the weather grew cold, the waters froze. Soon, the ugly duckling was stuck in ice. A kind man rescued the shivering duckling and took him home to show his children. The children wanted to play and chase the duckling. He was so frightened that he toppled the milk bucket and fled back outside into the snow. It was a long, hard winter for the poor duckling. The freezing days and nights seemed to last forever. Then one day, the sun began to shine. Warm sunbeams melted the ice. A lark sang because spring had come. The ugly duckling noticed three beautiful birds had landed on the water. They were the same ones he had seen in the fall. 
He felt sure the birds would be mean, but he was not afraid anymore. The ugly duckling did not fly away when the birds spotted him hiding in the reeds. To his surprise, they were friendly and welcoming. What do you think will happen next? He swam out from his hiding place and looked at his reflection in the water. He had changed. He was no longer an ugly duckling, but a brave and magnificent swan. The older swans bowed their heads to their new friend. He rustled his feathers and curved his slender neck. He was filled with joy when little children pointed and cried out, "Look at that lovely new swan!" In a flurry of wings. The young swan flew off with his new flock. He had never dreamed of such happiness when he was an ugly duckling, and knew he would never be lonely again. The end. What do you think is the moral or the lesson of this story? Let's take a minute to think about it. Pair up with someone close to you and share your thoughts. Thank you for hanging out with us, and we'll catch you later at our next reading circle. Have a good one. Bye.